Today's show is brought to you by RedRoof.com. Receive 10% off your Red Roof and stay at www.stayatredroof.com forward slash 313 live show. For you, the listeners of the 313 live show, Red Roof is offering an opportunity to receive 10% off your stay at redroof.com. To receive your 10% off your stay at Red Roof Inn, go to stay at redroof.com forward slash 313 live show. Again, that's stay at redroof.com forward slash 313 live show to receive your 10% off. Detroit City on the run You ready? ready? What up, dog? What up, dog? Oh my God! Three one three live. Oh my God! Three one three live. Three live. Oh my God! Three one three live. Oh my God! Three one three live. Three live. Oh my God! Three one three live. Oh my God! Three one three live. Three live. Oh my God! Three one three live. Three live. Oh my God! Three one three live. Three live. Oh my God! Three one three live. We are back in this joint once again. Episode uh, 40. 40, 40, 40. What's going on? With Ain't you? it 40? It's 40 all day. 40. 40. We Take made it this 40 go. weeks, baby. 40 weeks. 40. Yo, Deep. yo. Dope. Them a lot of weeks, bro. It's a lot of weeks, but we doing it. We doing what we got to do. Progress has been shown. We, the numbers have grown. Yes, sir. We and stay consistent. And it works. So anybody say it, tell you, hey, stay consistent. That's right. Stay it consistent. That shit works. But. But. Let me say something real quick. What? Yes, Shout out to the Sims family. I want to say RIP to my homeboy, Todd Sims. Todd Sims, you know, that was my homie, man. It's, we we go back. We got over 22 years in with each other you know we was <sighs> rocking and rolling together back in the day and you know i got a call late saturday sunday night said todd was no longer with us you know he was murdered and you know the the details is you know real sketchy about it and uh you know that was my homie man this me and this guy go back i'm talking about way back like four flats on a motherfucking Cadillac mm. so you know I'm hurt a little bit but you know we gonna move on and you know this week what the show is about though yeah and uh you know and I want to give a uh, RIP too as well man my brother sorry for your loss as well sorry for yours brother you know it's from the uh, Cooper family they lost their mom and uh so my hearts and prayers go out to them you know I know y'all heard that again this is they lost their mom, he lost his father, mm-hmm. and they lost their brother all this year, so. All this year? Yep. Dang. I know, so. It's tight. Yep, but, uh, all right, man, we back. Uh, yeah, we back. Let me say shout out to Brittany and Jessica Sims. You know, them is my boy Todd's daughters, you know. I knew them since they was little bitty girls. They grown now. So, you know, keep y'all head up. All going to be good. All going to be well. You know, everybody got y'all. Y'all know y'all. Y'all y'all good. And that's real talk. So, though, mm-hmm. man, I'm happy you back, man. You was gone for fucking, what, so many days? Tell us about oh. your trip in California, you know, smoking all the good Cali weed and oh, everything. Oh, man, okay. Tell us what you saw, though. Tell all us right. what you saw. All right, first we had to get the Cali weed, all right? Right, had to get the Cali weed. Now, I told my sister, I so said I wasn't going to smoke on this trip. Right. You know. But we got some new, my new nephew come, he brought a new baby with him, you know, my niece, she got a new baby, and then my sister, you know, everything. So them guys, they wanted to smoke. We was in Cali, man. We went all the way to Compton. Right. Got the weed from one of the gangsters out in Compton. Weed from the gangsters in Compton. Yeah. And what happened? Why this nigga lose it at the end and out some damn well? 
In and out. The In and Out restaurant. He lost the weight. So he's not a, a real Detroit Detroit cast. We don't do that. Texas. Texas. He's a Texas nigga. Mo. <laughs> Texas. Texas. So, but we recouped the next day. Recouped. Hooked up with the essays. Right. They showed us love. Uh-huh. Gave, gave us all the weed we wanted. Right. And you know they gave us two big stogies. Yes, sir. Sent us on our way. Yes, Cali sir. love. Cali love. Took pictures with them, of right. course. Of course. <laughs> And it was all they popping, bro. Went but, out. What's up? Man, I saw y'all, you know, I saw that pit bull puppy. That motherfucker was full of muscles. I'm like, damn, I want man. one of them puppies. Yeah, man, she beautiful, man. She ain't above about, I don't know, about six months or something. But you see, she get out there, got all that land to run around in. And that's all they do, get big like that, run around all day. See, you can't have them pit bulls chained up all, all motherfucking day. They got to be able to run. And, and you know what? There's one thing I can't say. The dudes in um, California and um, Arizona, they take that shit serious about them pit bulls, dog. They um, had them motherfuckers mm-hmm. working out, you know, um, out there on that, that land and shit. And, they gonna take it. And they gonna take care of them dogs. So. Yeah, it was nice, though, man. So it was. But you know me, man. I, love, I, I just love Detroit so damn much, man. I couldn't wait to get back home. But my family was fun, man, so I'm, I'm just glad to be back. Good to be on this platform talking to the world. You know, real, we talking to the world, bro. I already know that. That shit we got crazy, ain't audience. it? I love it, man. Yes, sir. The global audience, you know, mm-hmm. and um, everything is good. Everything is cool. Excuse me. I'm getting shit together, you know. I'm, I'm off beat, off balance a little bit. But How was your holiday? Man, it was beautiful, you know. Seeing you on that, seeing you with that cake. Oh, yeah. The red velvet cake. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, I got us down with that. That red velvet cake was on point. And that homemade icing, the frosting, should I say that shit was all on point, brother. All on point. I don't play when I get down in the kitchen, brother. I just don't do it. Big shots out to Danny Ave and Melanie Hearn. Y'all was the funny. Oh man, Danny Av and Melanie Hearns was on point. Shout yeah. out to the sisters and yeah, they I were. hope they get back in and um fuck with us real. Well, they wanna get back in. There ain't no hope to it. They gonna fuck with us real soon. That's right. Yay, yay. But we got a special guest coming. She'll be in shortly. Crush the goddess. Crush the goddess, oh yeah. That, that's the one. Oh you yeah. Know, she she made a rap in a in a verse in her rap, she said her pussy's sweeter than Kool-Aid. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm thirsty as hell too, man. Where's that water? At? Where's that water? You thirsty as hell, okay. Hey, we went to uh, last night, hanging out, man. Gemini called me. Right. He need a ride. Gemini always need a goddamn ride. That's mm. nothing new, brother. Nothing new. I know he's trying to get a ride back, right? But I want to just see how slick he gonna try to work me. What he do? We get there. Right, right. And uh, he won't go into the club, man. Yeah, we get in the club. We get in the club. He put me on front. Hey, yeah, that's during Black. BG got view, man. Next thing you know, I got to do some time. Got to do some I time. I left his ass, though. I did my time, man. It was awesome. It was a nigga there with a gator hat on. I mean, uh, a baby alligator. The head. The head. The whole, not just like made a gator skin. Nick. He had a gator on his hat. I said, man. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I know, brother. right? This nigga had a gator. A gator hat. Gator hat on his motherfucking head. A baby gator in it. Baby the head gator. coming out the top and the tail out the back. Real gator. Get the fuck out of here. Only in Detroit, bro. Only in Detroit. Only in Detroit. Hey, you know, Detroit players, <laughs> you, you heard what Biggie said. My Detroit players, baby. Alligators and everything, baby. This is what we do and this is how we do it i called him out too man he looked at me like i was wrong too i said jesus christ how did you call him out my brother i talked about that goddamn hat what did you say about that i didn't say too much about it because nigga looked scary but joshua josh was there josh adams josh got in the best though josh fucked him up huh yeah josh got in the best josh said josh said that uh he looked at like one of them uh mean africans he won't even do a drive by. He'll just come by and throw chicken bones in your house. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Josh Adams, the funniest, one of the funniest comedians, Detroit. Yeah, he yeah. was hosting it, man. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah, I heard it was that, nice. That's his little, but 
funny as hell, Monday or something like that. That's him, right? Yeah, man. I hooked up with some. Uh, he got a web series, so yeah, keep checking that out too. Uh, did wrong, but yeah, man, it was nice. Was at the post bar in Dearborn on Mondays. This is their third week. I can't. I went over there, blessed the mic. I'm glad I did. Man, everybody be happy that you blessed the mic, man. You be yeah, that's what's up. I'm oh, man, shit. I'm the boss, bro. I I shocked the world yesterday. They say, damn, dope black never never be hitting the stages all the time. But man, that boy funny. I'm gifted, man. God bless me. I ain't got... But what made you, you know, stop performing? I this show forty, real. Yeah, this is show forty. Out of hundred and sixty. Okay. It's fifty two weeks in a week. Yes, sir. Guess what? What's up? I did forty comedy shows this year, bro. Okay. We on our fortieth um podcast. Yes, sir. That's cool. If you put both of those together, okay. That's eighty. Yes, sir. Who who ain't working? You working, of course. Okay, I ain't Steve Harvey. They want you to be, brother. You know I gotta drive my taxi. Okay. I got people I gotta drop off. Yes, sir. Still single, so I gotta eat. You know what? In fact, man, I need a uh, I need a call, girl. That's what I need. You need your call. Do girl? they still make them? Yeah, they still got a call. It's a pig's pussy pork. It's a pig's pussy pork. That's all I'm going to ask you, brother. Fuck Do they still have call girls, man? I just not. I just need somebody to call. Call girls are not going anywhere. Call Mm. girls are going to be here until the end of fucking time. Need somebody to go on a date with me, man. Pick up where I left off. Well... You dope black, so mm-hmm. I'm quite sure that that's not going to be an issue mm-hmm. for any woman to, you know, not want to hook up with Man, I got black. to be a superhero, man. I want to be a superhero so bad. I'm going to try, though. Oh, man. Let, let me tell you about mm-hmm. the superheroes. Speaking of superheroes, right? Mm-hmm. Over the weekend, mm-hmm. went to go see Bad Santa 2. What was that like? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Bad Santa 2, man. That shit was out cold. It was so out cold, man. It started out you laughing through the whole fucking movie. Okay, when you come on, right? When the movie come on, mm-hmm. the, the dude, uh, Billy Bob Thornton, the bad Santa, he cruising down the street. Mm-hmm. Drop top Mustang, right? <laughs> Got the music playing, right? Mm-hmm. Looking good than a motherfucker. When I say looking good, he all cleaned up. He don't look like the dirty, scruffy guy from San, um, Bad Santa. Oh, he wasn't uh, dirty? Hold on. Let me get to the point. Wait a minute, Let me get to the point. Wait a minute, Doc. Okay. So as he's there driving, this big ass is walking down the street. Ass galore, right? Mm-hmm. Bam. He crashes into another car. The reality pops in and kicks in and... His boss come out cussing him out. What the fuck is you doing? And you you fucked up these people cars. And guess what? Mm. He was a valet parker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they uh. they fire him on the spot, right? <laughs> fire him on the spot. And guess what he do? What? He run back to the car and grab his pint of cheap ass vodka mm. <laughs> and mm. take off running down the street with it, bro. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bad Santa back. Yeah, and bad Santa is back. Most but, definitely. But I can't tell you, but let me tell you at the end, right? Uh-huh. The, the little short midget is back, right? The whole gang is back in the movie, right? The little midget told Billy Bob Thornton, because they got mad and was arguing at each other. He told him, motherfucker, when you used to be knocked out and drunk sleep, <laughs> I used to teabag your ass while you were asleep, nigga, and take pictures of the shit and put it all over the internet, right? <laughs> Had me dying laughing, right? <laughs> you yeah, so, about crazy. Billy Bob Thornton was mad about the shit, right? So, speeding up to the end. That's the brother, man. We got to know his name, man. We got to come back with his name. Yeah, we got to come back with his name. The, the little short midget guy. He's uh, he from California. I don't think we can call them midgets. Little, well, little, little people, people. Little people. Okay. Yeah. He's from California. Uh-huh. So um, at the end or whatever, he he fucked up and in the hospital, right? hmm So you think Billy Bob Thornton finna kill his ass, right? Because he come in with a pillow like he finna smother his little ass, right? Yeah. And guess what? Billy Bob Thornton takes his nuts 
if the nigga wake up and Billy Bob pulling his dick out, right? <laughs> Put his nuts on my man's forehead, his eye, his nose, his mouth. And, and either no. open the nigga's mouth and put his balls on his lips, right? Hell and, no. And was taking pictures of this shit. Shit was funny as hell, y'all. Oh, my God. That, that was funny. Uh, hold on. We'll be right back. Let's roll into this song real quick. Um, NBA The Flight Crew, play his shit. We're going to bump oh, that. Okay. We're going to bump that All and right. come on right back. Yeah, that's cool. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Give them boys a run. Give them a run, baby. Straight to the point, I'm so grown. So Fussing and fighting, I quit you like it, so get the fuck on. Fuck Rather on. chill, blow bills, stuff my pockets with bills for right. real. That's what I am, switching bitches at will. Bitches Give at a will. bitch a night of lust, but then no feelings but to spill. No feelings Second chance, push the friend, yeah, I rock with the thrill. But don't be yeah. tripping if you catch a driver, check on my bill. I'm C Green, I know you heard of me. A nigga hot as third degree. Better watch a bitch, I'm in and out just like a burglary. Like she a calling burglary. me the doc up in the bed, I'm in like so surgery. Like Smack surgery. out till she yelling, AV game is AV time. Can't be fussing, can't be fighting. Loving and lusting, doing too much cuppings, how one end up in the oven. So stay on play shit, play shit. It's in my blood to be on play shit, play shit. So you know I stay on play shit, play shit. It's in my blood to be on play shit, play shit. Fuck all the motions, you can say that shit for later, my nigga. my nigga I'm just trying to get more haters and more paper, my nigga yeah. And them hoes be want a nigga to save them, my nigga But Why? since they want to play the game, then I'ma play them, my nigga play I don't em. got no track shoes, nah, I don't chase them Treat running. it like a scene fit, boy, I just phase them Baby, em. got the head game that's oh so amazing They break fast in the morning, I'm talking that turkey bacon Gone. Eggs and grits, talking about all of that all shit of that. Got her to the room for the night, Patron got her on tip yeah. She talking nonsense, talking about she ain't sucking no what? shit She better swallow her pride than get the swallowing dick oh. Be fussing, can't be fighting. Loving and lusting. Doing too much cuppings. How one end up in the oven. So stay on play shit, play shit. It's in my blood to be on play shit, play shit. So you know I stay on play shit, play shit. It's in my blood to be on play shit, play shit. Only fuck bitches that I can see Cause they don't think I'm Michael Jackson They ask and tell them to beat it I ain't always been a player But this shit ain't gone from nothing It really happened when I turn from nothing to something I'm low key with the starting But I ain't come for nothing Bitch be tripping all the time And got me heated as oven So I just need a tiny chick Cause I'm on tip So like some boneless chicken baby Let me see you strip My mama said I need to cut it out And plus I need a reverend Cause I've been acting like my daddy Back in 87 And I ain't cuffing no chick Unless she's sent from heaven So for now I'm freaky on wheels Like my brother dad I came yeah. here fussing came be fighting, okay, loving and lusting, okay, doing too much cuppings, how one end up in the oven, so stay on play shit, play shit, so, so it's in my blood to be on play shit, play shit, so, so you know I stay on play shit, play shit, it's in my blood to be on play shit, play shit, so you know I stay on play shit, play shit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Go black. What a do? You want to play your shit, baby? No, sir. I am not a player. You're not on no play your shit. No, play no. your shit. Uh-uh, no. <laughs> like, like, okay, real. If I want to, if, okay, if I have a girlfriend. Okay. First of all, if I'm I'm single, I'm dating girls. Yes, yeah, sir. All right. Okay. If something happens, cool. You know, but a lot of times you don't it don't be no connection. But if I feel connection, mm-hmm. then it's just me and my boo now. 
you and your boo now. Yeah, that's it. I give up the keys. The keys. I give up the codes to the cell phone. Oh, yeah. I tell all my friends, hey, I got a girlfriend now. Got your girlfriend. But yeah. you was just a minute ago when we was off air, you said you was looking for a call girl. I'm single now. You single? Oh. So yeah, I'm looking I was I was uh see that's why I'm not Thank a player. You. Okay, not a player. You're not, you're I'm not looking for, I was I, I I I Googled call girl. <laughs> Bro, what came up? <laughs> and they got you oh, it came up. Uh, first, you give me oh, and big shots out to Tony Cox. Tony That's Cox. who is the the the, the, the short little the, midget, the little not midget, midget called the little guy, little little person, little in person the in the movie on um, Bad Santa. Yeah, too. yeah. No, I I I googled it. Yeah, Google, Tony and Cox. It, yeah, shout out to Tony not, Cox. Tony Cox, you are a funny motherfucker. You you are the man in Bad Santa too. But ladies and gentlemen, we got with us in the building, Crush Little Niggas. Go ahead, Crush, Crush. What up, what up, what up, what up? Crush the goddess in this motherfucker. What's good with you, Crush? Not in much. Just okay. chilling. Okay. <laughs> okay. Crush, you got all these we cameras in your face and shit. Sure, it got me on okay. my live. I'm going to keep her off for that. Yeah, yeah. You Look. got the cameras going on everywhere Real. in your face. What up, brother? A call girl, sir. Yes. <laughs> is a female escort. A female yeah. escort, but she's nothing but not. She's not like a regular. Not a, not a prostitute. Not quite. Not quite. Not like the kind that's <laughs> outside walking. Okay. You got in calls uh-huh. and out calls. Okay. Some of them you got telephone numbers and some of them advertised in mm-hmm. like <laughs> magazines. Okay. <laughs> and it's like some of them might have a pimp. Right. Maybe not. <laughs> what about them back page hoes? I mean, girls. Oh, well, he just did research on call girl. I'm saying, yeah, I just did a little research. Yeah, yes, he research did. On now, Crush, girl. you know you an MC. You can't be looking away over here and talking. Like, right <laughs> oh, there. yeah, yeah, my yeah, bad. Yeah. <laughs> but Dorian just did research on call girls. What is this? <laughs> Crush, crush. Uh, I don't. I want to know what I'm talking about because I don't want to offend anyone. Oh no. I'm glad you back with us, Crush. Uh-huh. Crush, now listen, <laughs> me and you, we was talking some educational shit the other day right. on, on on the phone, me and you, we, we chopped it up about a good 20, 30 minutes, I want to say maybe an hour, could possibly been an hour. We was talking about these motherfucking, the, the white supremacists, uh. and um, how we got started, I remember the conversation was the white guy down the street uh-huh. goes to college. Uh-huh. He was telling me, well, the history that they teach you guys about yourselves, they don't teach us that history. Mm-hmm. So I was like, well, w- what do they tell you about us? He was like, well, they, in so many words, they telling us that you guys did not lay down and, and take the beatings and <laughs> no, no, this is some serious shit. The, That's how he talking to yeah, you. Slavery, yo, crazy. The, that slavery shit uh-huh. that we know that wasn't in their history books. He told us that they actually teach them that we fought back. Uh-huh. Teaches us, teaches they teach them our real history. Do you know why they teach them their our real history and, and teach us this bullshit and watered down history? Because they want to inform them that black people will fight. And are strong. And are strong. <clears throat> and they were not divided. But when you go to our community schools or whatever, they tell us our history that we were slaves. We was them yes, son, no, son, niggas. Yes, they want to keep our minds enslaved. Tell them again, crush. They want to keep our minds enslaved, guys. Yes. But now they teach the white people the real our real history. That we were kings, we fought, we would kill your ass. When we look, look, Quentin Quentin Tarantino, the Django movie, right? Mm-hmm. Awesome. That was real. Okay. Django Mill was actually killing the white motherfuckers back in the day. Uh-huh. That was our people. Okay. So, in so many words, when you run across racist assholes like um, Richard Spencer, 
Shout out to my man Roland Martin, because Roland Martin put that nigga in his motherfucking place. <laughs> Did you see that crush? Nah. What yeah. happened? Man, Roland Martin broke that motherfucker down like a double barrel shotgun. What? And let him know what was going on. Every motherfucking body seen that on um, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. Roland Martin, shout out to Ro- Roland Martin, man. Um, Roland Martin is a very smart educated black brother. You cannot pull the okie doke over on him. Mm-hmm. He, he, he lets you have it. And you going into his his den, the lion's den, when you walk in there with bullshit, he broke this motherfucking Richard Spencer down mm. so bad. Richard Spencer was red he was sweating. He was ready to get the fuck out of there. He couldn't take it. He couldn't take the heat. He couldn't take it. See, this is one thing that I want to tell my black people that's listening and the minority white people because the minority white people rocks with us. Mm-hmm. They fucks with us. They cool. They not a part of white America. Ka, ka, ka. They down with us. So we fucks with them and we roll with them. So let me tell y'all some y'all y'all the, the the ignorant black people who don't know their history, don't know better. It is time for us to form and unite as one. Yeah. Okay. Did you see? It's not a coincidence that the gun rate in the mind for the minorities, the black men and black women, and the Everybody else out there, the, the Mexicans, Latinos, whatever you want to call them, Puerto Ricans, they buying fucking guns now since Trump is oh, in office. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know why they buying them guns, Crash? Yeah, because um, in case they try some shit, it's going to go down. It's going to go down. In a major way. In a major way. Now, let me say this to, to, the, to the young black brothers, right? They are some dangerous individuals. Uh-huh. Okay? Anytime a, a black man tells you, young black person tells you, I'm just living for the day. That's a dangerous motherfucker. Uh-huh. That is a dangerous motherfucker. I'm just living for today. He ain't got shit to live for. I'm living for the day. He ain't thinking about tomorrow. He ain't thinking about next week. He ain't thinking about next month. Today. He's letting you know, motherfucker, it can go down today. Uh-huh. Let me tell you, let me tell you a story, right? And this is some real shit. Real fucking shit. Okay, I, I, I got to roll my camera for this, so let me let me set it up because this is some real shit, and I'm going live. Uh, you know, on, on Facebook Live. Go ahead, though, Black, and say what you uh, gotta say. Because I'm live right now. You yes, know? sir. So, Greg the Greg the cool one. Uh-huh. He said they are merely emulate individuals who understand we are the dominant and the purest form of man. Tell them again, Therefore, brother. They assimilate what's powerful. I'm just saying, if we only knew our true worth. Our true worth, you got damn right. So listen, today, right? I'm driving down Cashew, right? Uh-huh. White guy in a truck, not a pickup truck, but a little truck behind me, making all type of fucking hand gestures and shit, right? Real talk. Real talk. So now you know me, right? I'm hyped now. Like, <laughs> yeah, I got me one. I got me one. One want to get on down. One want to get down, right? Uh-huh. So, I pump my brakes real slow. Because I'm doing the speed limit, so now I'm finna slow down because I'm not finna rush up for you, bro. So, he got the, on the side of me, this is no lie, it got the doing the hand gesture like how Donald Trump was doing, right? Why would you do that to me? We pulls up, get the cap, and I'm child apart. They do hand gestures now? Yeah, like the, you know how the, like the saying the purple person was retarded or whatever, right? Uh Uh-huh. Gets to that red light. <laughs> he gets to the red light. Uh-huh. I pull right up on the side of his truck. Hops out of my car. And tell him, dude, just like this. Get your bitch ass out that truck. Get out the truck, bitch. And he was looking straight forward. Didn't say anything. Now, I'm not knowing if he got a gun or not. Because I don't give a fuck now. Because you just pissed me off. So... That light was turned red, turned green, right? Mm-hmm. The lady in front was laughing and did not move. Other person moved and he was still blocked in. I was like, bitch, I'll fuck you up if you get your bitch ass out that car. 
<laughs> and guess what? He that didn't get motherfucker out the sped right the fuck on off and did not look back my way and did not make none of those gestures. See, this is what white white America, ka, 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 you guys are going to have to stop that shit, right? Donald Trump got y'all some false hope right now. <laughs> These motherfuckers don't know how to fucking bowl of courage. Just nah, <laughs> a nah, bowl nah, of courage. Nah. Uh-uh. What's up well, with this though? Now, nah, how y'all feel about uh, they recounting the votes? Well, I mean, good, we're, good. We're, 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 we're talking about that. We're is, talking is, about is, that. Ain't is, done. Is anybody a sore loser over here? Or? Ain't done. Ain't done, brother. Okay. Ain't done. We talking you about more. You got more. more. On I got more. Hear it. Hear, say it. Put say, it out there, damn real. Say, say everything you got to God say damn, about right. this shit. Yeah. Listen, white America, ka, ka, What they done did. Donald Trump, what they they ain't he done. done fed you motherfuckers a bowl of false courage, okay? All black people are not scared. And I'm going to say 90% of us are not scared. Maybe 10% of us and those will be the Oreos. But we're not scared. Uh-huh. Motherfuckers, we're not scared. Especially me. I am looking for a white motherfucker in a fucking pickup truck with Confederate flags and a two by four and a baseball bat. I'm looking for him. I am really looking for him. Stop going off of this man. It's like the yeah. dumb bitch that was just in uh, and I don't call no woman no bitch, but like I said, <laughs> call this bitch a bitch. She was white in Walmart and went and acted a straight ass crush, was like, I voted for Donald Trump. Wow. Bitch, who gives a fuck you voted for Donald Trump? So it's now she's going <laughs> all the way this in. Is crazy, bro. And lying. Man. She's on video and not knowing she's on video, but telling lies. See, this is what white people do. Mm. Not white, all white people, white America, ka, ka. Mm. White America, ka, ka, let me say this to you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers for so many years have been the majority. Mm. Within the next 10 to 20 years in this country, you will be the minority. Okay, black people, we are reading now. A lot of us are going to college. A lot of us are doing research. A lot mm-hmm. of us are getting smart. Crush the Goddess is in college right now. Yep. So, motherfuckers, black people, we are competitors. We love to compete. I love to compete. So, white people do not like to compete because they're used to getting a head start. Meaning, daddy's going to give you some money, or mama's going to give you some money, or mama's going to se- the parents are going to set you up a trust fund, right? <laughs> So you got you a a, a head start in the game. Mm -hmm. Whereas the black people is mama nine times out of 10 is the only person that's in the household. And mama can't afford to give us the money to give us that head start. Mm -hmm. See. And right, hold on, can't give us that head start. So we gotta scrap, we gotta scrap and scrounge, you know what I'm saying, from the beginning and get where we gotta go. Mm -hmm. So this is this makes us stronger, makes us more competitive. And make us love to compete. So we are here to compete with you white motherfuckers. When I say white motherfuckers, mean white America, ka, ka. We are here to compete. We are not no longer asking for shit. We kicking in the motherfucking door and we taking our spot. You best believe that. We're not going to sit over here and sit in the background any longer and say, please let us in. <laughs> please. <laughs> Please let us in. No, we're not doing that. We boom, motherfucker. We kicking in this motherfucking door. Here's the AK right here. Here's my man, Dope Black, with the Tech Nine. We coming in. This whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. We coming whoa, in. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Go, Dope Look, Black. Somebody got to live to tell a story. That's what Dope Black is. I'm going to be telling the motherfucking story how y'all went out there with y'all bad asses. <laughs> telling that white man what he going to do. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. But I'm, hey. I be with people like, you know what I mean? I'm with the people, man. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm with you with your, with your black shit and your black power shit. And go kill them whites or whatever the fuck y'all <laughs> going, going to do. <laughs> but don't come bother me about shit, about bring my five dollars you on me, nigga. <laughs> Well, you can talk about any goddamn thing that Trump did or Hillary did. He said, go bring me my $5. Well, bring my motherfucking $10. Oh, yeah. Goddamn, you owe me shit. Is it $5 or $10? Man, it's one. 5 from this nigga, 10 over there, 15 here. Shit, man. Pay me what you owe me. Baby. Treat me how you supposed to be treating me. I can't, I got to still lock my goddamn door at night, so I don't give a fuck. I mean, I care about this. Don't get me wrong. 
But I got other shit he to do. He about to do have hey. a little Wayne moment up in this bitch. No, I ain't <laughs> had a little Wayne moment. I ain't had a little yeah. Wayne moment. Black look, lives matter. Look, 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 think, what? look. I feel y'all. Fight the power. Fight. fight. The power. Keep it. Keep it going. Whatever. Because it's not fighting. It used to be fight the power. Yeah. At one point, mm-hmm. yeah. it was uh, Angela Davis had a run and Martin and Frederick. I mean, the fight gonna always be, and now we got the black lives and all lives and anti this and build this shit. I mean, it's the same story, just yeah. different people playing it. I mean, the game ain't real. never gonna change. It's gonna next year, it'll be a new nigga next year. I mean, it's gonna be the same anyway. What go. you think it's gonna be next year? I right wouldn't now? give them. I wouldn't give mm-hmm. no fuck. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> I know one thing that's gonna count, and that's dollars. <laughs> You keep finding a way to make your money, pay your bills, and oh, live. Because it ain't never been free in America. Right. If you ain't got a job or in school mm-hmm. or got your own business, you really is an illegal immigrant. <laughs> because how is you surviving? It must be something illegal. And we call them undesirable, <laughs> and we want all of them in the penitentiary. Damn. You see what I'm saying? So... If we got, hey, I'm gonna tell you, y'all can do what y'all want to do and mm-hmm. wear your T-shirts and say Trump ain't my president and uh-huh. go on with it. But the president elect uh-huh. is my motherfucking president. Come when he get in that office, <laughs> and what the fuck did president say do? Those black gonna be listening. Don't See, that's how they made it this far. Don't, While don't y'all niggas listen. be out there rallying, I be listening. <laughs> See, that's why right now. I'm straight. straight. I'm right straight now. if I'm Hillary would have got in that bitch. I'm straight if Trump get in that bitch. Because I be listening. <laughs> Shit, I'm paying attention now. Y'all niggas, put them shirts <laughs> on and go fight bitches in Walmart. <laughs> while I get this money. But, but Shit. Sure. <laughs> hey, Kanye, hey. Yes, sir? What the fuck wrong with Kanye? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Kanye yeah. ain't out what's the hospital yet. Yeah. Well, let, let me tell you what's that's going what on I'm with trying, That's what's <laughs> fucking with me. Let me tell you what's going on with Kanye West. Shit. Uh-huh. And, and everybody, this is this is serious, and I've been guilty in the past uh, of just saying fuck Kanye West. I don't give a fuck about him, and I, what's I going on? You know, know on see the TV. Is, I just see is, these news flashes. This is that what's pops going up. on. This is what's going on with Kanye West, brother. Uh huh. Kanye West's mother passed November the seventh. I want to say two thousand and seven, um, and uh-huh. Kanye. It's around that time, brother, and he had a breakdown, man. This is something that he needed this. He needed to be in the hospital. Um, the Kardashians don't give a fuck about him. Clearly. Be- because, Let go. Because they are See, basically, he, what it is, is they looking for everything that's going to bring them money, any type of publicity. They didn't give a fuck about this man's health, his welfare, his well-being. They didn't care about any of that. So, um... That police officer, instead of everybody criticizing him and talking about he went too far, they really should fine him and give him some type of fucking um, medal, of, uh, medal or something or give him some type of um, fucking award because he pretty much may have saved Kanye's West life that we don't know about, but everybody don't see that part of it. They just see, oh, he came in and did... You know, overrode his bags and his authority. No, fuck that. He saved that man's life. I honestly, in my opinion, I would say that. What you think about that, Crush? Um, I think uh, he is just a little losing it just a bit. And uh, my man did help him out by going in there and, you know, telling him, look, you probably need to check yourself in, you know. Because he is a little crazy. I mean, so, so he is a little crazy. Okay. Your turn, you no, I'm just saying. So at the end of the day, he never, he never took the time out to get over the passing of his mother. What you're saying, and it finally caught up him to him in that one moment. He broke down. Yeah. Now it's like, goddamn, no, they don't even know if he's gonna return. M- most definitely, uh, my, one I of the things you gotta let go. You gotta let when you everybody. You know when you, you know, like we said in the beginning of the show, we, you know, you missing people and stuff like that. You gotta, you know. Got to try to be strong and let go best way you can and let them know they're in a better place. Everybody different. got to go. You know what I mean? So I know everybody different, but Everybody wow, more you know. is different, you know? Yeah, but wow, seven, six years. I got to pray for people, man. I well, know. He, 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 never, he never got the help that he really needed. Because he rich. 
Because yeah, you're rich and you're powerful, rich, and you powerful. don't tell rich, powerful men what and to do. Yeah, you he he never got that help, man. So right. So now, yeah. So you so you let him, and so he got to figure out himself. And he, he's so maybe he'll now. come back, or maybe he won't. I, I think. <laughs> I think he. Wait, when you're rich, back. when you're rich, you gotta be. You know, that's he the shit. Come back. He just got to tell rich man what to they do. They said he was um he had he needed some sleep too. Uh. Yeah, he was sleep deprived. Yeah, sleep deprived. yeah, he needed sleep. He losing his damn mind. Got that crazy ass Kim, the bad ass kids. I ain't not telling what's going on. Uh, I'm glad that we speaking on sleep. Let me say this right quick because I got some friends on Facebook and people to follow me and people all around the world. Oh, I'll sleep when I'm dead. Why don't y'all quit lying, motherfuckers? Everybody sleeps. The human body, you will die if you don't have sleep. I yeah, your brain will literally overheat. I hear motherfuckers lie all the time. I'm going off a of one hour of sleep a day. Or Diddy with his lying ass. I'm going off of four hours of sleep a day. So you mean to tell me, motherfucker, you sleep four hours a day and up 20 hours a day. Get the fuck out of here because Your if Diddy... Your brain to cool down. Yes, if Diddy was only living off of four hours worth of sleep, yeah, but he'd, be he'd be broke right now. He'd be so fucking confused he wouldn't have everything that he has right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, just say... Uh, <clears throat> tell the truth and say, well, I'm doing this episode of something all week long, so I'm living off of four hours of sleep today. Only. This week, maybe. Oh, no, not, no, not this week. Today. Today. Just today. Okay. It ain't happening. You know what I'm saying? I remember back in the day in the crack house, 24-7. <laughs> hey, the, 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 the motherfucking statute of limitation is up so I can rock with this shit. Mm-hmm. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you sitting in a spot. That ain't happening. Niggas fall asleep. You're not staying up 24-7. Uh-huh. You're going to get you some sleep somewhere in between when the door is not busy in the middle of the night mm-hmm. or first thing in the morning. So don't sit here and say, oh, I stay woke 24 hours a day for seven days a week. Mm-mm. It ain't happening. But niggas get on social media. I, and, 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 and I, I'm not the... What's the dope? What's the dope you use to do that? Cocaine, right? Man, ain't that cocaine? No, that's ice. They call it meth. Crystal meth. That you stay up seven days. Now, yeah, you're going to stay up. When? On some type of assistance, but uh-huh. you're not gonna do that on your fucking own. But they gotta, they gotta do something. You ain't just. You're not. Okay, you ain't. I'm no. saying, what's the drug that they use? They gotta be. Using, <laughs> you gotta be using something because you ain't naturally it, in it, your my called, right mind thinking I'm gonna stay up. It's called lies. It's called lies. Because if they even is up that long, you got to be getting high, bro. Yeah. No, That's I can smoke if I can if I can. You definitely got to be doing subs. You got to like be that. getting high, bro. Ain't no way. Like, because I learned about the serve. Those for people that want to go to fuck to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> they want to just stop. Yeah, they want to go to sleep to the point where they almost. In a goddamn coma. That's for sleepy people. They need to sleep. <laughs> he said that's for sleepy people. Yeah, you know, everybody prescribe they self or something. I just want to know what the fuck was he on. Um, and they ain't saying they yet. They ain't saying yet. They will later. You they know, will. It's still early. They still get it. They yeah, still, they, they they get still it early. Together, Next know? week, they'll come with the drug overdose or something. <laughs> like, Probably hey, get ready to take him out because he shouldn't have said... He's saying that they coming to get him. See, this is what Kanye fucked up at. Uh-oh. Hit me. Hit I'm going to tell you where he fucked up at. Where this shit ain't up. got nothing to do with his mama. This got something to do with his black ass talking about he going to run for president. <laughs> no, that shit the got Illuminati something to do with him sitting dead. up there saying to Jay-Z that mm-hmm. I know you got killers on Sunday for my head. Jay Z is actually that's really what I'm saying. This is that. he killed his career with Jay Z. But, but if he if he if this if this thing works, mm-hmm. with I'm crazy. Right. He might be good. It ain't gonna work. He might save him. Jay Z no damn well. Kanye he a little crazy, but he's not mentally unstable like that. He just be probably either on drugs or drunk when he be doing the rants. You got he gotta be. Do you got any? Do you got any pets? No, I don't do pets. No pets. <laughs> I was just asking. asking. Crush the goddess! Yeah. What's up with you, baby? What you working on? What you got for us? Oh, man. I got this slow song idea. You're the one. You're the one? Yeah. And that's that's, that's coming out. When you going to release that? A love song. A love song. (laughs) A love song. Hey, Crush. Now, you you be saying some motherfucking lyrics. You be talking about how... You make the ass clap and and, and and make the pussy bounce back on niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> on these lyrics. You be having these niggas going fucking crazy over here on your lyrics, Crush. What is really <laughs> going on, Crush? I mean, 
It's <laughs> called attention grabber. Attention grabber? Yeah. Yeah, something that just nah, crush. Out there. You really a virgin. You, you, yeah. You, you made a, a song, right? <laughs> and um, in one part of your lyrics, you said, I repeat and I quote, said, your pussy is sweet like Kool-Aid. <laughs> you, you just made I hope it's red, Kool-Aid. <laughs> innocent family drink. <laughs> a, a, a fun drink now. You got a lot of sugar in it. Got a lot of sugar. Yeah. You just made the two, this so. <laughs> the other two so, things, and you put the two things that b- people that, like, brothers yeah, like you, the most. Yeah, exactly. Pussy and Kool Aid. Together. Pussy <laughs> 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 So, Crush, I mean, when I, I heard it, I was like, wow. Only Crush the goddess could that's do right. this. That's right. That's right. Wait a minute, hold on. Did this thing got an eyelash? Yeah, that's what I was thinking Oh, you know what? Get I'm, that shit out loud. Okay, hold up. This eyelash. Right here belongs to Faith Sincere. Mm-hmm. If y'all watch my cam stories, uh-huh. she was drunk, did a motherfucker, uh-huh. and she lost her eyelash, and I found it in my, oh my God. in my notebook. So I plan on calling and telling them to come and get her shit. I just don't want to. <laughs> that motherfucker stuck there too, but that's all where the eyelash come from. <laughs> so yeah. crushed. Same yes. eyelashes. Yeah. Back to crushing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah. So now. You, 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 me, you just you, you put two things together that me and like Kool Aid <laughs> and pussy. Okay. <laughs> what? what I, was, was it already on your mind, or or you was just sitting there just writing and writing, and then it came to mind? It was all. I was there. writing and rhyming, and it came to mind. But you got this love song going on. Yeah, now. Just about, is you talking about? I love love songs. I do for yes. real. In the love song crush, are you talking about fucking in the love song? I'm not talking about fucking. No fucking? Okay. No fucking. Tell, tell us about the love song. Keep the bills paid. Look, it's like food on the table. That's what I'm talking okay. about. Tell, us, tell us a little yeah. bit love, about this love song, love, crush. Love, it's love. about um, a girl that's been changed by a man. Okay. Mm. For the better. For the he better. Helped her grow and mature and. Okay. You know, she's learning some things, so. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and you talking good. about making a clap back for him? Nah, no clap. No, no clap back? Okay, no well, podcast, are you listeners who like Crush's sexual songs? There is no sexuality in this song. It's about, she kept it 100 clean for the radio. It's about love. About love. A masturbating song. <laughs> you know, a lot, a lot of people do that now, though, black. Masturbating. Please, please masturbate to my songs, guys, please. And you know what? They, they need to go buy the song when it yeah, comes out so definitely. they can hear what you're saying. Yep. And as me taking the role of Precious now, Manager, we're well, not giving up no free about. music no more. Y'all niggas got to go buy. <laughs> we, we give y'all a little, a little sample. Y'all got to go buy. We ain't giving away no free music. That's over with. That's done because Crush is a fucking beast on that microphone. Beast. And we done giving away free samples. That shit is over with. My artist is not giving away no free. My clients, they're not my artists. I'm just, you know, managing. <laughs> they're not giving away no more free music. If I can help it, God damn it. You motherfuckers, we'll give y'all one song or something, but, you know, we're... It's going to be a quick sample <laughs> song, and that's all the fuck y'all get. Now, you got to go buy the... Yeah, sample. That's it. You gotta go buy the album. A, a thirty second sampler, that's all they get. So so are you single? Yes. Okay. Uh oh, Dope Black got a little happy like oh <laughs> shit. I was looking for a call girl tonight. <laughs> Precious single. No call girl, I'm a working girl, school girl. No, we know Rapper. you're a working girl. girl. Dope Black was saying, I'm looking for Good a call girl. girl tonight. Crush is single, I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> I just found out just now. See, Rail could be going on with some shit, but. No, not at all. They right? always trying to hook some married nigga. Don't every fellas know that. <laughs> Your married parents always fuck up everything, yeah. don't they? The <laughs> them niggas leave them niggas at the house. Yeah. <laughs> the, no, you need the married fans you because know. you know why the married fans you need them? Matt. 
Because the married what? fans, they just the married friends. The, the, them too. They, they need to be. They <laughs> no, need to, married they, friends. They, need, you, they just, you know. I do not hang with my married friends, bro. They are so fucking whack, bro. They, they whack. They married friends whack, not bro. whack. They will bust on you. They do some wild <laughs> ass shit. Go buy holes and. <laughs> Be the first motherfucker to get to the club. <laughs> Turn the fuck up. He's stupid. Put you in all type of goddamn lies. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about fucking with your married nigga? <laughs> Man, hell no. Fuck that. I hang out with some young, I hang out with Lil Yachty before I hang out with some married niggas. <laughs> fuck you, that, dude. bro. One of my married yeah, friends, no lie. Shit. Hit me up on the, on, like, hey, man. Them niggas Listen, cold with it. Say, hey man, tell my girl I'm with you. I got drunk and fell asleep. I got mad. I'm I like, said, wait. Hey. I met with my boy, man. This nigga married cuz every time we go out, he get he nigga how every time we go out, you come home, your mouth smell like pussy and mine smell <laughs> like beer. I don't get this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you go home high every motherfucking time. You <laughs> <laughs> nigga, how do you do this? <laughs> nigga, I spend a night, that nigga, I be in the basement sleep, that nigga be like, damn, nigga, you ain't hear me? You should've came upstairs. I just called a bitch from back page. <laughs> nigga, like, God, oh, damn. Oh, Man, shit. nigga, would you chill the fuck out? Would you chill the fuck out? I'm not bullshitting. This nigga must know I ain't lying, Moni. Sad. <laughs> sad. I'm a lame, sad. Nigga, like, you ain't hear me? No, nigga, I didn't hear you. Do you have any crazy. married girlfriends to hang out with you and get, get a little reckless? Mm-mm. No. Nope. Well, no. Can't, can't tell uh, my me. my friends that's like in relationships, they pretty solid. Right. You know, mm-hmm. that's the type of people I hang with. Females. Um, podcast audience, <laughs> women do cheat. Well, yeah. no, we don't. Yes, they do. They We're women are, are the slickest right. motherfuckers with their cheating. They mm. cheat. That's right. Yes, they we do. don't cheat. Women cheat. So, fellas, if, do they cheat or we just don't tell? They don't tell. They cheat. Because I know that some things <laughs> <laughs> like, because I'm not a player. I always get caught, right? Right. But I just think, like, it's because they always say my name. I'm about to start switching my name up. Women, you know what it said? They always say who? What's his name? Where he stay? Get information. And we'll just be like, yeah, this chick, this girl, our best. We uh, never be descriptive, <laughs> bruh. I think. I'm going to ask you one more question, Crash, before we get it, because we got to go on and get you know, talk about Crash. Crash. Yeah. Yes. Why do women, when you get in a relationship with a man and the man come home and y'all have a little argument or something, say, Let me, why do women say, let me smell your dick? What's the purpose behind that? Why? What? The, I think, not me personally, because I don't smell dicks. I don't okay. get down, but... <laughs> but I think that's just something that they do thinking that oh he didn't wash his dick off so if he was out fucking I'm gonna be able to tell because I can smell it on him or whatever which is absurd to me but gotta have a uh... let me if you. I gotta smell his dick then we don't need to be together cause it's just too much let me tell you about one of my homeboys he was mm-hmm. he was smooth mm-hmm. with his shit right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this nigga sure. went out and had him a bar of soap <laughs> like the kind of soap he used at home. I was like, why you don't use body wash? He was like, nigga, I use soap bars, nigga, because I know what I got at home. When I'm out at the motel, I know what I'm going to wash my dick with. Because now with my wife, when I go to the house, she know what I got. The soap is in, the, in there, and I still smell like that. And I'm thinking in my mind, well, if you've been out all fucking day. Well, how do you smell like soap? How do you still smell like fresh soap? Nigga, your nuts sweat, <laughs> nigga. You, you sweat. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but, hey, you know, some women just are. Uh, 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 dingy. Uh, uh, yeah, dingy. You think like she that. dingy? Well, yeah, because I don't think know, she dingy. I think she's. Ain't I no think... way you come home and smell like fresh soap. I right. think you're not coming home and smell like fresh soap after a day of work. She dingy, or even bro. after a few hours knows... of hanging out, you might not smell. Different, but you're not going to smell just like so fresh. No. Like you just, because if you smell just like you just washed up, I'm going to be under the assumption that you just washed up. Mm. Not that you just fresh. I just think that maybe she know what you just said and what you just said, real. And when the dog <laughs> is out, 
mama playing too. True, that's true. I was like, some women don't even care. Yeah, some, yeah they probably don't come so far into the relationship. Like. Some, some don't care, but you got some that would kill your motherfucking ass. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll fucking let you have it. We'll put that blade in your ass. Now, is it a Bust point where you say, ass. you think, well, okay, maybe I should just be into this open relationship thing and give this man, uh, help him find women, so... The thing is, like, most guys, they say they want an open relationship, but they can't handle it when it's really open like that. Just It's just them it's being the, open and you still Yeah, they ain't doing what they want to do. You, yeah. Until they want you to be open again. Right. <laughs> Are you sure it's the women that can't handle it? And sometimes it's the, sometimes it's the one, sometimes the one, I'm going to just speak personally, sometimes it's the woman, but right. sometimes, a lot of times, it's the men. <laughs> Let me ask a question, because one time, right, me and I was talking, this was uh-huh. years ago, right, I was uh-huh. talking to this young lady, right, and uh, I was like, um, why you never do a threesome, right? And uh, she was like, because I tried that before, and I was like, and what happened? <laughs> He was fucking her better than he fucked me, and I was beating his ass and whooping her ass too in the bed. Hey, hey, so I'm like, huh? Are you for real? This is. Hey, Josh said, Joshua Adams, man. What's up, Josh? Uh, He said, just go hoop real quick after you cheat. And then get that fresh, natural uh, nut smell back on you. Oh, That's my goodness. <laughs> let, let, let me tell you about one of my boys here. <laughs> Listen, you my, rock. This, I'm going to tell you about my boy. God rest his soul. He's, he's gone now. His name Elliot. Elliot was a mechanic and fixed on cars, right? Elliot would get dressed up, go do his thing, you know what I'm saying, at the club, fuck bitches and whatever. And he was like, damn, how the fuck I'm going to go home? I got this woman all over me. He was like, real, do me a favor. I'm like, what's up? He used to drive a truck. Mm-hmm. He got behind the truck, and he was like, gun the car. The ex- and the fumes from the exhaust was getting all over him, right? Oh, what the fuck? Yes, and he was, because he told his, he told his girl, dumb ass told his girl, hey, baby, I was I've fixing been, somebody's fixing car. Fixing somebody's car. I had to fix somebody's car. He got some oil all over his hands, right? I just got in the bed. After he washed his hands, right, still smelling the fumes, guess what his girl told him? What? Go take a shower. You stink. He's like, for real, baby, I smell? She's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> guess what? He went and did that shit is bad and ridiculous. Yo, you know, this, this I is go as long down cheaters. This shit is Damn. Some, some shit, you know what I'm saying? You, got, it, you know, see? It, it, Mary, you gotta live that life. Hey, That's that what? life, ain't it? In, in, in the cheating game, there's rules to that shit, you know what I'm saying? And she wasn't his wife. She was just his woman. And she, they were shacking. So, hey, you know, I honestly feel that hey, if you shacking, you my woman, you're not my wife. If I want to have a little... Snack on the side. I should be able to have a snack on the side. You know what I'm saying? That's some bullshit. But why is that bullshit, Crush? I mean, I, I kind of agree. I'm not. I don't agree with the shacking too. But I do feel like it should be some type of the respect shacking, there. The is, because shacking, even if y'all are not in a relationship, it should still be some type of a commitment there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I can't do the shacking myself. Can't do the shacking. Okay. All right. Well, hold, hold up. You got something to say though? Because I want to take them on. I want to bring in. Um, a song by Crush, and you know, I'm trying to see what I'm gonna play real quick. I'm gonna come back, and then we're gonna talk about Crush. It's gonna be all about Crush the Goddess. No, mm-hmm. I just want to uh, uh, give a big shout out to Bobo Lamb. What's up, Bobo, Bobo Lamb? Lamb. I hope he'll be down. To, uh, Where Bobo Lamb at? He, he on the live right here, bro. What's up? Turn that goddamn camera around. Let me see Bobo. Hey, Bobo. <laughs> hey, Bobo, right there. I ain't scared of no motherfucking Muslims. Ain't nobody gonna make me eat no motherfucking thousand bean pies, goddammit. I say what I say, goddammit, and I stand by that shit. Bo- but what's up, Bobo Lamb? Bobo's a funny motherfucker, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I seen that he, shit. Oh, so it, I had the guy... Bobo the, was on your head about that. Yeah, he was on my head, said the Muslims is gonna make me eat a thousand bean pies, goddammit. I ain't scared of no goddamn Muslims, no, no, no motherfucking... Whoever they is, I ain't scared. I speak my mind. <laughs> But well, shout out to Bobo Lamb. Big shout out to Bobo. Bobo, what up, is a, Bobo Lamb, a funny motherfucker, y'all. If y'all ain't never saw Bobo, y'all need to um, go watch his ass on YouTube or something because he's a funny motherfucker for real, y'all. Yes, sir. Shout out to all my Detroit comedians, 
all my Detroit rappers, all my Detroit singers, Detroit producers, because, you know, they work hard. You from Detroit, you work hard, and Detroiters don't get the respect that they deserve. So I'm going to tilt my hat out to every motherfucking body from Detroit that's doing their motherfucking thing, the past, the present, the new, the, whatever you want to call them, baby. Shout out Detroit, and we all family. And uh, we'll be back. Gonna play this joint by Crush the Goddess. Stay tuned. Glad to have you back, Crush. And we finna fuck around on this money level too. You know what I'm saying? Not only just this, um, I gotta bring up. You know, I, I put shit on the air live. I, I gotta come at you live and direct. Mm-hmm. Crush. Yeah. J Street and me, we had a, a conversation, right? Yeah. The conversation was, why don't we put together a compilation for Detroit? Put 14 songs on the album, right? Yeah. We get like 10 Detroit artists and we do an intro and outro on a couple skits, right? That's 14. Okay. Okay. 
And he was like, I need you to come put the mark, put some dollars in with me. And I'll put some dollars in. And I got these tracks that I'm working on, 10 hot tracks that they can fuck with and say that they want or they don't want it. It's totally up to them how they can rock with it, right? Yep. So, Crush the Goddess. Yeah. I want you on that project. Definitely. I'm on there. Most definitely, Crush. So, we need you there. And uh, this weekend, we all need to sit down on Sunday J Street. We all need to meet up for lunch or something. Where at? Um, we're we going to put that um, in full effect. If I love food. If there's, <laughs> yeah. if there's any rappers that got a cold set of bars, none of that mumble rap shit, I'm talking about can <laughs> literally spit a cold 16 bars or better. Email us at the313liveshow at gmail.com. Once again, the313liveshow at gmail.com. We want to hear from you, and maybe you'll be that artist that we give a chance and put on the compilation. But Crush the Goddess is already on there. We got her. We gonna have the Aviator Flight Crew. And we got one other guy that we looking at, and you know, J Street like him. He sent in his shit. He be listening to the show, and he's from Detroit. Sent in um, some bars, and he can spit his ass off. So, so far we got like four. We need about six more people. And then we gonna make this all about Detroit. And we gonna put this motherfucker out. We not talk about no mix CD shit and give it away for free. We gonna sell this shit. It's going on iTunes and everywhere. So crush. You sure you in, baby? I'm in. Everybody's gonna get paid. This ain't no nobody <laughs> don't in, get though. paid. Nobody, you know, you do some work for free shit and don't get paid. We don't do that. That ain't how it go down. Um Crush. Tell us about the new project you're working on. I'm uh, just working on some songs. I'm getting some beats from some different producers. I got another one from Armada. Uh-huh. I got one from J Street. Yeah, um, yeah. So I'm gonna work on those. I'm um, put together something. I want to try to release in. Uh, I want to say late winter, early spring. Late winter, early spring. That's what I I'm think. I'm gonna about. go for March Madness. March Madness. Yeah. That'd be good. You know. Um, when is my- your birthday? June the fourteenth. Hey. Oh, you a Gemini? Yeah. Hey, and that's my mother's birthday, shit. June 14th. All right, all right. Damn, Gemini. Yeah. Okay. Y'all Gemini. Y'all some Gem- mean, moody Ooh, motherfuckers. Wow, for real. Tell me about I it. I mean. So sweet, but so Just mean. leave me fuck alone. That's what I tell people. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah, just leave true. me alone. You leave yeah. me alone, come back later. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, mm-hmm. so crush. Do you okay. do, do you have a title for this new album? Mm-mm. Okay. I just want to keep everything tight. You know what I'm saying? Oh, tight lip. I'm just trying to keep it tight. Cause Ooh, keep it we, tight. You know, and then they when they come, it just don't come out. You know, then they just like, right. damn, like that's what it was. We 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 not gonna. I like leave. the way how you describe your music, tight and coming. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Tight and coming. No. Like <laughs> tight I and like coming. That. Lord have mercy. Oh, where, uh, where do you like to? Do you like to go to museums? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Well, you that's crazy. You hey, hey Christ, do me a favor. Mm-hmm. Spit a little bit of that ooh for me. Acapella. Oh, come on. Ooh. Get into the crush. Ooh. They call me Crush the Goddess for a reason. I get a different bitch husband every season. Mm. Just let them lick it. Miss me with the dig pleasing. Mm. These niggas snakes in my bed. They never sleeping. Ooh. Niggas fake like M.A. I been peeping. I'm going to get this fucking money. Who I eating? Ooh. <laughs> well, ooh. <laughs> that's yeah, that's sweet. Yes, she that in. is sweet. Yeah, Chris. she go in. Crush, you it. a cold motherfucker. Thank All you. the way around, right? All the way around cold. Gemini, yeah. though. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. What's the problem with Gemini? Gemini. Y- y'all cool. Ones. Gemini's y'all all right with us. Y'all cool. You know. What, 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 what is you, you dope? Like, my birthday is July 27th. I'm a Leo. Wow. Leo. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. My yeah. Son. You a Leo too, though? No. No. I'm, I'm Aquarius. Aquarius. Oh, oh shit. February 11th. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, awful. Yeah, I'm Aquarius. Yep. My daughter, uh, Valentine's Day, February 14th. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so she is a, a mess. Mm. She's not wow. Aquarius, though. It is Aquarius. Okay, my bad. 
Mm. But the Aquarius guys that I know, mm-hmm. irritating. I know, that's me. My cousin, that's, I just want to take my elbow that. on top of his head, like, bam. Is, is, yeah. I, I heard that that was clingy, needy type of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's me. Leo niggas, we ain't like that. We <laughs> yeah. ain't. Man, that's that's like Leo's that. like the odd niggas like that. Player. We don't talk Leo's about real shit. Friends. Us Leos, give the us. The odd niggas is like that when they in love. Give us a, 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 a video game and. Uh, uh, nice something to eat and, and mm-hmm. then some good pussy and we all right from time to time. Mm-hmm. Well, everything else is out the window. From we time to time. From time yeah. to time. What about the other, the meantime? It's the meantime. We chilling, you know what I'm <laughs> we, we, we working. We getting that money together, you know what I'm saying? That's what you got to do. What's up, though, man? What, you what got it all together, brother. I'm just listening and learning. You know, that <laughs> shit. Y'all get talking that plan shit. I grab my notebook, my pen. <laughs> I get, get to jot shit down, man. I can't jump in. Listen, dog. Huh? What's up? The credit cards is coming, man, left and right. Good. I got another credit card that came through. What? And you buying shit oh, left and right, too, though. No, but you know, I told these motherfuckers this last credit card that came, right? Mm-hmm. They... Want to give a thousand dollar limit and they want to take a hundred and twenty five dollars already off of it, right? Mm-hmm. And that was the annual fee. I was like, hell no. <laughs> and guess what? The, the, the interest rate was 37 percent interest rate, what? no, 32, 32 or 30. No, it's 30, still 30, high. Yeah. high as hell. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I threw that motherfucker away, right? But a week before that, right. Uh, Merrick Bank, they came through. They sent me a credit card. I told them I was approved. I was like, okay, I, I took that one. Interest rate was low. They didn't, they took what? $78 was gone off of, no, 72 for the um, annual fee. That was the one time. I, I tell everybody, never get an annual fee credit card. Don't do it. Don't do it. I just did it because at the time, you know, it's something I'm trying to do. And the more creditors you got, that looks good on you, but don't get too many of them. You don't take every credit card. Make sure you stay in the range of the ones that have no annual fees. And guess what, though, Black? Before that one, two weeks before that one came, Merit came through, GameStop came through. Oh, you got the GameStop credit card? Goddamn right. Oh. Goddamn right. Let me show this motherfucker right here. He got the, the GameStop, GameStop credit card. Right. Let me dig in my pocket here. I got... So many goddamn credit cards and shit in my wallet. Let me see here. Damn, <laughs> where that motherfucker at? Bam, right there. The game yeah. stopped. In the house. Baby. In the house, goddamn, right? So, and then right know. before that, mm-hmm. Capital One gave me a fucking increase on my credit card. So, that lets me know I'm taking care of business and doing shit right, though. Credit right? is on It sounds like you are, bro. Man. Credit is A1. It's good. So it sound like you ain't playing. You no. Know, so Credit my, off. my fleet, black fleet. people, go back and listen to episode three, and I'm schooling you on how to get that credit together. And we're going to do a follow-up show coming up, me and Doe Black together. Because guess what? Doe, ba- Doe Black been working on his credit and getting credit cards, Just too. <laughs> yes, he has. Oh, shit. Just yeah. seeing what it's like. And he liking it. You like it a lot? I, you know, I'm normally as a cash guy, so this is kind of new. It's fun. <laughs> something to do. You know something, what I mean? Something to do. Something to do. <laughs> yeah, you know, see how it works. See, see you when got, you, you got a different purpose. It's just moving money around. See when you right. when you when straight. you when you open them that wallet, right? Mm-hmm. The women, they the real women know the difference between a debit card and a credit card. <laughs> and when the real women see that you got a credit card, the pussy get wet though. That's what he say. The pussy get wet, and guess what? They see, and they say, this man is a real man. This is the part I'm trying to get. Oh, no, 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 I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> they say, this is this man is a real man <laughs> because he got credit cards. That means he's got good credit. Mm-hmm. But always in certain t- times, that don't always be the case. You know, niggas got their credit cards and living off their credit cards and just paying the minimum off and shit, and you don't do that. You do that sometimes, not all the time. Yeah. Sometimes. Because you give well, you, you need to, basically. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, what it does is give you it's giving you a credit history, a payment history, and that's what all creditors is looking at that payment history. Yeah, I just trying to get them to stay. Get them to stay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I can catch them. It's just getting them to stay. I got the bait, brother, but getting them to stay long. 
It's probably. What you be doing? I got a bad attitude. <laughs> How old are you, though, Black? Uh, I'm bad with the name calling. Aquarius. How old are you, though, Black? My cousin. Uh, 42. 42? Yeah. The youngest you should talk to is 32. That's Bro. the youngest. If you going to. No. No? Never. Never? I never put an age on love, son. Oh, you got you to. You tripping. Yeah. Tell him again, Crush. And you you got to put an age limit on mm-hmm. it. Tell him, Crush. Never. You do. I have to. The I, 20 and 21s be trying to holler at your girl. Uh, I be cool. like, dog. That's, that's, you that's a look, that's, but see, you making a decision. Like, you I find out a lot of younger women is into uh, older guys. That's only because they're young. They don't really like you. Yeah, but that's all right. And, and they know they, they, know, they, they know you got a little money, dog. They know that you got a little money. Dog. Okay, now what about the older ones? Now what y'all think they is about then? They might be looking for something. They got their heads together. They working yes. towards something. Yes. So they could like rock with you. The young yes. don't have nothing. They not established. Well, they Some of working. them are. Not many of them now. Hmm. You know, it's hard to find the ones that's really doing something and got it together. That's that plenty age. of them. <laughs> <laughs> Dope black. Y'all is too young. Y'all going you, you, a little bit you, too young. You, you remind what? me of, of, of the white men, right? Yeah. <laughs> they be fucking the black women. Ooh, Look, this, I don't want <laughs> this I nigger don't bitch. Want... This nigger bitch. I don't want nothing old but some money, bro. I don't want nothing old but money, bro. I don't want nothing old but money. No. I don't like. I don't like it. I how, like young women. You ain't got to get a sixty-two year old. How is your oldest daughter? Uh, I think she's twenty-three now. Were you that a twenty-three year old? Yeah. <laughs> this motherfucking 21 year old nigga what you talking about I love this guy don't black <laughs> his white nigga it's legal nigga beagle what is you talking about but, but she she your daughter you're gonna be your daughter man look bro, I gotta hit the blunt think, I gotta hit the blunt if you hit the blunt go, 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 <laughs> gotta hit the blunt I don't believe I don't believe that, bro. You don't believe that? No, nah, I don't believe all yeah, that. Yeah, my dad man. don't believe that shit either. See, no. I'm, I'm gonna tell you a what you're gonna tell a you. A woman ain't a woman nigga a, I, my man Women do a whole lot of amazing shit, bro. You think because they are, man, them men, bro, that need to grow up. I'm going to tell you something, brother. <laughs> what it is, no, you old, though, and you don't want to face the fact that you old and right. get old, that you need that young woman to or, keep you keep you on that young nigga status. Or maybe, no, that. or maybe you see it's still happening for an old nigga out here that you didn't think it happened for an old nigga out here like that nigga like shit these bitches on me cuz young old I choose uh-huh. the young one the young one it ain't like I choose them sometimes I choose an older one sometimes I choose a hood I choose more uh-huh. but <laughs> The one that be attracting to me is the one I go for. The energy, the one that I feel. If she happens to be young, mm-hmm. she happens to be old. Yes, it ain't, sir. It ain't, I don't believe age got anything to do with it because for everything that you say about an uh, older person, it's somebody that's younger doing the same thing or somebody younger. The same thing. It's all about a way that person is, they mind state. You can say all of this stuff, but age ain't nothing but numbers. I so I believe it. Ooh. I don't believe it. So, okay, tell me what y'all think age is about. Like, what's the big deal? Maturity. About it? Maturity, brother. Age. Maturity. So what's maturity? What's mature to y'all? Cause I'm not. I'm it not the mature person. person. It? I'm not mature. Yeah. How mature? I'm not even that mature. What do you mean? Mature Good like bullshit, what? Nigga. You like the most what? I work. I pay, I, pay yeah, I, mean, I, I pay my bills. I mean, I work. I pay my bills. You one of the most maturest men that I know, brother. So I'm just saying, it's maturely working, paying your bills, and having your own. Not only that. Okay, so okay, so that ain't no age. That's a lot of people. I know, I know, <laughs> I know a, lot a lot of people, people like that. <laughs> different age that work, pay their own bills, and don't be asking nobody for shit. That's I know lots of people in different age groups. So what they got to do with it? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. It's okay. nothing. Okay, okay. okay. I'm from okay. Aaliyah listen, was here, listen, bro. Listen, you, you, the man. You, you the man, Dorian. You Thank are you, sir. you the man, sir. Yes, and we're not gonna argue with you on that. Oh, you, you block your man. blessings. Yes, that's sir. What you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna quit. <laughs> So, I ain't um, fucking with no twenty year old. This, this, this is yeah, a, you don't. You don't have to. A lot of women see they don't like this. Is all over you at them twenty one. But she don't want. She see them young ones. Them young. 19. Them women. She can't have them. Crush. Can't what? have them. What is the youngest? Why you don't want them? What's, What's the youngest the man? They hair? stupid. That's why I don't want them. Not because I what. When I was trying to look twenty year old, old the fuck out. I'm just, they well, childish. What, they what, stupid. What was the youngest man you ever had, Crush? The youngest. Well, dated. Dated, screwed, all that. Oh, the youngest. 
I can't say that shit on the air. I don't know. 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 I don't I'm right. Good. What what did he do? He whipped his dick out and saying it was big crushing. No, nah, I don't even you like, that. like that. We was friends though, like mm-hmm. for a long, like at least over a year before over it happened. Year, okay. We was just talking and mm-hmm. you know being cool and stuff mm-hmm. like that, yeah. visiting, having yeah. drinks. Then he whipped it out and he said, "Ooh, okay." Yeah, cause that be the problem. That be, that be, <laughs> <laughs> that be the problem because yeah. women seem to get caught in their feelings Brothers, when you a lot. Whip, when a man you whip it out, when you whip that dick out on them, they keep talking about. That's not why. I mean, I'm just. Saying, I, I couldn't like look at that as a serious thing. So, so you were going in the play, right? You just going in the play. That was so, but he was immature. Okay, all right. <laughs> That's all I'm saying is everybody oh, got okay. a purpose. No, we, we were talking crush out. <laughs> the name, okay, we're not going to say no, the name of the new single is coming. We're not even going to say the name of the new Those album. Those are the one. We, oh. It's coming out, though, y'all. Coming Just out, be Mark patient. Love. Not, yeah, love, not crush. All about love. Re- remember that um <laughs> the episode that we were talking about crush? About you interviewing, going to do a show. Interview. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're going to host the show. Guess what, crush? What? We set a date for that. Oh my God, I'm going to host the 313 Live show. We're going to be your guests. Uh oh. So now this is what it is going to do March the 7th, 2017. Oh, shit. Tomorrow seven. Yeah. <laughs> Why he like? Oh, hold on. <laughs> you don't even know that. See that you. This is his birthday. This is the wrong This don't. This don't. This lets me know that Dorian don't know nothing. I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know. What you don't know? He trying uh, to say the year. The year show. Yeah, I know the year oh, okay, show. Okay, the year anniversary is not crushed. We're gonna give you our one year anniversary show, right? Woo! You gonna host and talk to me and Dorian Black, and we're gonna have past guests. And present guests who been on the show, we're gonna have them here that day, mm-hmm. and we all gonna chop it up with them. Um, I'm getting a new setup. I'm gonna have get rid of these um, the the scissor iron microphones. I'm going table stand mics only. We're gonna have about like four on this side, four on this side, and one there, one there, so we can get a lot of people at the table and make it pop off like okay. it's supposed to go. And you're gonna host that. That's our one year show. We're gonna have food. Yay. We're gonna have liquor. We're, we're oh, gonna, it's going down. Yeah, we're going to have cake. You know, everybody's going to have to bring in on marijuana. That's going to be our <laughs> one-year show. We're going to film it. Yeah, I know Crash got e- it. Everything is going <laughs> down. Go Don't lie. Hmm? What you think about that one year, man? That was fast. That's all I could say. Fast. A lot of things happened within that year. Yeah, and we we, 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 we trendsetters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We set some trends. That's what I'm trying to tell everybody. Come on the 313 Live Show. This thing is popping. You know what I like, though, Double Black? Huh? When I listen to other podcast shows and you know uh-huh. that they done listen to us and studied our blueprint and they start trying to do their show the way that we do our <laughs> show. Yeah, but when man. you go back 10, 20 episodes ahead, they weren't even touching on what we was touching on. That's great, bro. I love it. It's good to be a leader. Yes. We, we like I say, the trendsetters are in the building. That's right. Detroit. Detroit. Everybody want to be like Detroit. Everybody, they love us. They like it. Yes. <laughs> they so, do, though. They do. I them. agree. Because they do. They I really agree. do. All these people that listen to us right I was now, at... they love how we talk about Detroit. Did, did you see on the on uh, my, my Facebook page, mm-hmm. Eshan listens to our fucking show. Did you read that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Eshan. Yeah, what up, E? Esham said, I was a funny guy. He said, I was real. I kept it real, and we kept him rolling listening to the show. Yeah, <laughs> because he's crazy. That's why. Right. Man, everybody was showing that guy real mad love and mad props on there. You see that, though? You like being a celebrity. Oh, man, no. Nah, it's just a day in the life of that guy real. Day in the, oh, day in the life, baby. How day you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out and salute to Esham for real, y'all. That made my day because I grew up listening to Esham and I, I, I'm an Esham fan. I, I listen, listen to his him. music. I listen to him too. Man, I was hard listening to Esham back in the day, dog. And to know that this nigga is listening to me right now, 
listens to my show and know who I am and call me out and said, real is real. Oh, man. I thought you was excited. Man, my dick got high. Oh. Oh. Hey, don't call that nigga no more. <laughs> He don't call him no more. No, no, he don't call him no more. No, no, he wasn't on no gay shit. It wasn't on no gay shit, for real. Hey, John, hey, John, hey, John. I'm going to tell you, my dick hard from, from you talking to me. I'm excited, but it ain't nothing gay. I'm going to send you a few excited. pics. No pics. I'm going to send you a few pics of it, but it ain't nothing gay. <laughs> Shout out to Esha and his brother James Smith. The real what life up? production crew. <laughs> Yo, man, like I say, bro, for real. It's just to even get a knowledge acknowledged yeah. by, by yeah, Esham. Yeah, yeah. I know, that, that was that's that, dope. That's dope. That's super Esham dope. Because Esham is the godfather of this, uh, this Detroit rap shit. Esham, from his generation of artists, right? If I'm wrong, please correct me. But Esham still owns the rights, the masters, to all of his music. And still getting paid for all his music. His artists, I'm not going to say no names. They are not getting paid off of their shit because they don't own it. And it's on iTunes, the label on it. They don't own the shit. So that's why history repeats itself, right? When Esham was doing his thing, he didn't have the internet. Record stores with nobody behind him. He was independent. So guess what? Today, like Crush the Goddess, got the internet. So social media everywhere, and when Crush rec record her shit, she owns her masters. So 10, 20 years down the line, when it come back around in full circle and these record labels are trying to sign people again, guess what? Crush on her name, Crush on all her material, and guess what? She's gonna still get all her money off of her albums. Like the world, like we go back and listen to Alonzo Williams. I think that was episode 29 with Alonzo Williams. He say this shit, bruh. Back in the day, rap record labels didn't want them. Didn't want to sign them. They own their name, own all their masters, and Alonzo Williams was getting paid, still getting good checks off of their music. Because and eating the ownership. Them. Ownership. Goddamn right. And you got that right now. I got it. Goddamn right. So 20 years from now, we're going to hear Crush Little Niggas <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a video game or on somebody's movie. And listen, quote me for saying this. They're gonna, Crush, Crush is going to look back and say, that guy Rail told me my music was going to be on the movies or on the video game one day. Watch and see. Watch and I see. believe it too, you know. That's why I work hard. That's all Diligently. And, keep working. Stay, and, stay and, with, stay, and I predict with. this. And things will move. I'm 2017, guaranteed. Dope Black is going to be down at the Fox Theater with Mike Epps. Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's coming. Oh, yeah. That's my man. That's coming. That's I my need man, seats too, Dope Black. Don't, don't oh, yeah. me out, Oh, yeah. Though. And you're going to hear me on somebody's <laughs> radio station. Oh, yeah. You're going to hear it. They need some realness on the radio. Oh, no, I'm going to give it to them. You, you'll hear it. You'll hear it. I guarantee you it's coming. And... I'm not gonna forget my people, Detroit. I'm gonna still be rocking and rolling. Hey, why my Epps can't be on the stage with me though? Why I gotta be? On stage? <laughs> yeah, I'm well, why Mike gonna be on stage why, with you, though, Black? Shit, why? Why he can't be opening up for me? God damn, shit. <laughs> nigga, done been rich long enough. Pass the torch. Pass the torch. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> shit. I'm sorry. Hey, nigga, what you know? I would say I'm just talking shit. Uh, <laughs> look at him. So crushed. <laughs> He's also crash. <laughs> we, we got about ten more minutes to kill now. Right. Are we good? What, what you? What you? What you? I'm not. Nothing. I'm just saying. You joking? No, uh, I'm not saying. You, what you? You want to put something on the table? You want to talk about some shit? Oh. Uh, I want. What you want to talk about? Don't come on, y'all. I done talked. You know, everybody <laughs> still want to hear me talk. You know? I'm trying to give everybody else a shot to talk. <laughs> You a cypher, bro. You turned up. <laughs> Real me turned the fuck up nine days, man. Real, why you so goddamn happy, man? Man, life is happy, man. You know why I'm happy, happy, bro? Uh, I'll tell you why I'm happy for real, man. Look. This fool be happy, y'all. I'm not, I'm not 500 pounds no more, man. Talk about congrats. it. I got good credit now, man. Hey, congrats. Uh, 
I'm, I'm out here. I'm Donald Trump is not stopping me. I'm not stopping right. nothing. What I'm doing. I don't know. I don't understand man. what people in this Trump I'm, stuff. I'm, I'm still making money, man. So I'm good, man. That's all that matters. If you can do all that, you a one for real. I, I'm running around this motherfucker dog like a nigga that's just. Need to be on some Britlin or something. To call me. <laughs> That's good, man. Yes, man. Uh, it's all good. Hey, man, I've been playing this number, man. Um, forty-five, fifty in the in the lottery, man. And I'm so waiting. This motherfucker it keep toying you around. You fucking with and, that lottery, man? I'm fucking with forty-five, fifty. That motherfucker mm-hmm. gonna fall. You got, <laughs> gonna you got fall. a lottery? You play crush. God damn it, I, used man, to, I was playing 16, them, 12 but right I, now. my lotteries always come out the day I don't play. So mm. I stop playing. You stop playing, mm. Christ. That's the way it is. You, 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 are, you, are, you. How you pick your number? You, you, you a dreamer or you Just see personal something? Personal stuff. Personal stuff. Yeah. Real. What about you? Man, it's a vision. Come to me for real. No it's shit. A vision. Uh, uh, my number. I dream it. You got a book? A number book no, you go I, to? No, I don't. Y'all ain't got all off into what my no, number I ain't doing all. I'm like this, man. I give a number 30 days. If it don't fall after 30 days, I scrap it and I'm done with Y'all it. Y'all know what the numbers mean, though. Like, uh, people see my 76. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like 769, that's death. That play for death. Man, no. You don't know yeah, about the number shit. play for? No. Okay, y'all I like heard that. about it. My auntie, she did yeah, like, like that. that. <laughs> Rookies. I don't mm. know about what you play lottery like. No, nah, I don't play. I don't play, but I know lottery players. That's how they got their books and they do their number rundowns. Uh, and you got to get dice. all into it. I love to shoot dice. Shoot five. Shoot, five. <laughs> <laughs> shoot ten. Y'all got the casino. No, nope, not. You know what? I went to a casino one time when it first came, right? This uh-uh. nigga got these dice in his pocket. Uh-uh. Nigga don't be playing out here in these streets. He said shoot five. Nigga. Hey, you know what? Not for real, though. I, I took $50 with me one time, and I lost that shit, right? And I said I'd never go again. Then I went in, again. That was like about almost like 20 years later I went back. No, not 20 years. That was about, what, 15 years later I went back. I was playing. I bust their ass for about, what, $350. And I cashed out and took my winnings and got the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck y'all. Y'all ain't get this back. I know that's right. So, yeah. And I said, then I watch people give their money, give it back. Give it. I'm give like, it, fuck give that. It right then back. They, and back in the day in the dice game, I used to be the main nigga hollering. Nigga, shoot that 10. Scared money don't win. Nigga, scared money don't win. Well, dog. Hey, I was scared and I walked away with some money. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, dog. That's what makes, that's what I'm upset about. That remind me of the Donald Trump thing, right? <laughs> because, <laughs> like, when people, like, don't want to be, like, sore losers, right? Like, okay, mm-hmm. that's the winner. All right, forget about it. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's just like when we're shooting dice. Right. Okay, now. Nah. Motherfucker done lost all his money. Mm-hmm. Now we at his house. First thing one want a year, I want to cut craps. Now you want to cut <laughs> craps. Oh. Right, you lost though, cuz. Now you want to cut craps and take the money that you want off crap and do what? Try to shoot right back with us? <laughs> right. And break us, cuz. Come on, nah. You lost, man. Ain't no cut craps. <laughs> now they want to recount. Man, come on. You know what? This is the, the so loser. This is the thing, right? And I feel like this: if a computer analyst say, "Hey, there was cheating going on in these states," right? Mm-hmm. They're gonna spend their four million dollars right. to recount these votes. Uh huh. Let them do it, and if if nothing comes out of it, it's fine. Right. You just wasted four million dollars. Yeah. That, that's their just money. It's, 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 not, it's not your money. It's not my money. It's not the taxpayers' money. And then so, nothing's going to happen, even if it's the recount is whatever. It's not well, nothing going to happen, right? Technically, that's not true. Cause what are they, they going to do? If they saw that it was rigged, and those re- they come back out, they're going to reverse those points in each state and give them the heart. What? Are yeah. you serious? Yes, and yeah. that's what. Yes, yes. And that's what everybody's praying for. Hell no. Donald going to quit anyway. Let me you really think he gonna go through with this president yes, shit? I don't think Donald even want this. Through. You know what? Donald, I'm gonna he's tell you like this. It. He gonna do he's it. He's doing oh it. Donald God. is gonna get impeached. Yeah. He's gonna get impeached. He may just quit. Or he he's gonna go. Even... Or he's gonna get locked up. One of the two. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna go to jail. He's gonna get impeached. Because Donald, when you got a motherfucker got like him, shit going on when you got a motherfucker like him who's never. 
had a boss in his life. The president of the United States has a boss. Yeah. You never know who that boss is, but God damn it, that is the boss of the president. How you go? Donald got so much shit going on in his real life. Mm -hmm. How you gonna do this president shit that's he's, in his real he's life? He's signing now? everything over <laughs> to his sons and letting his sons handle it. Yeah, he he this down. shit about to be stupid, man. I can't wait to January 21st. My thing is, give a motherfucker <laughs> a shot. Let's see what he's talking about. Uh -huh. You know, let's go in here and see what he's talking about. We only got to deal with him for four years. Okay. Yeah, okay. If, they, you know? if, they, um, if they put him back in there, then that's eight, dog. You know what? But listen like this. <laughs> that hey, shows dog. you that the dumb idiot motherfuckers my vote don't count shit. Them the motherfuckers is going to be uh, affected the most. You're right. They're going to be affected the most. But... You know, like the motherfuckers who on welfare, who didn't go out and vote, they're going to be affected the most. You think so? I know so. Man. You know so. You but but let me so? tell you like this. Let me, let me tell you, All right. let okay. me tell you a thing okay. about welfare, though, real quick. Okay. How this, you is, this is the thing with welfare. Mm -hmm. Republicans scream that shit that they want to cut welfare. They want to get rid of it, right? Right. It's a lie. You know why they don't want to do it? I'm going to tell you why. When Rick Snyder came into play in the state of Michigan, when he, oh. he cut one million motherfuckers off of welfare within his first three months in office as the governor. Yes, I remember that. Crown rate shot up high in Detroit. That's when you had them book right. the food stamps. Now listen. <laughs> For real. <laughs> crown, rate, crown rate shot up. And then... Black people said, hey, Woo, the was the we robbing broke motherfuckers. Guess what? They moved across the eight mile and started robbing them motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Grocery stores was about to shut down in the neighborhood. People were getting evicted. People were not able to pay their rent so you couldn't pay your mortgage, right? So banks was lo losing houses. Them powerful white motherfuckers went to Snyder. Said, you fucking up. This is how... We this is how it works. This is how the economy works, and you're gonna have to roll with it. You're gonna have to reimburse them people they they assistance back. So the federal government came into play. The federal government mm. and came with this bullshit. Well, by state law in Michigan, you can be on government assistance for four years by the state. Oh, yeah. And if you don't find a job and they're still you can get another five years from the federal government. So that's a total of nine years of welfare. Not only in Michigan, that's all around the world, in America. So if you, then what they say, if there's 50% unemployment rate in any community or city or state, guess what? They cannot cut you off welfare. So do you honestly think that the white motherfuckers want to cut welfare? No, they don't. I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> they want to keep Tell on us. giving us, our people, not us, want to keep giving our people welfare and making them lazy because they won't get up and work. But a lot of white people got welfare, Yeah, yeah a lot of white people. Hold on, hold on. white people. Well, yeah, a lot of white people got it. But a guess lot. what? Guess a what? whole lot. White people are beating the system and manipulating the system. I'm going to tell you how. How? <clears throat> the husband is going out and working right. and bringing that big money home, right, with the good job. His girlfriend stay at home and on welfare. So they manipulate the system. In the black household, right? There's a lazy nigga looking for a woman who's on welfare so I, he can shack up with her and say, hey, I'm on the Preach! Now. Preach, this is the truth. So guess what? That's how them white people over there, like the one white lady was on the news in Michigan, was living in a mansion, mm. a million dollar mansion, and was receiving welfare. Ain't this up? Yeah. Ain't this up? <laughs> yeah, yeah that one lady. You remember Ain't that one lady up, from here? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right here in Michigan. Yeah. One million dollar mansion. One million dollar. Ain't mansion. driving the Mercedes <laughs> Benz. It was getting welfare, but her husband had a good job. Well, her, her, her the kids and her father had a good job. Mm. Okay. So once again, they know that we're not gonna work together like that. So they want to keep us down by giving us this welfare shit. Because they know that black folks now are getting smart. They're realizing, hey, I don't want this welfare shit. No, I want to better myself. Then you got to crush the goddesses. I'm working. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm busting rhymes on the mic. And I'm going to school. 
a lot of black women is doing that now. A lot of black women is doing that. So our black people are waking up now. So guess what's going to happen? They're going to give an increase in food stamps, give an increase in cash, and try to bring them back down. Don't fall for that shit, people. Do not fall for it. Do not do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. So, how is it that in, in, in the child support shit, that works in so many ways against the man if your woman is on getting state assistance? Because if you work at Chrysler and you paying $500 a week in child support, guess what? State taking $400 and that didn't give you $100. So, guess what? You still got to stay on the state. <laughs> You, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they slowly but surely fucking us and making us feel like, hey, I just can't win. There's nothing I can do with this and yada yada. So fuck it. I'll stay on welfare. Get the fuck off welfare. <laughs> Get the fuck off welfare. <laughs> Oh, it's yeah, not funny. It's, it's yeah. real talk. It's just like, it's just that's some real shit though. Like, dog. If they wanted to get rid of welfare, the Republicans really wanted to get rid of welfare. That should have been out the been window. Gone. You gotta look at it. See you got, now, the, you it, got the banks. welfare is well. They got mm -hmm. welfare is over with, right? Because welfare was Hell like man. welfare mm -hmm. was used to be before Snyder. Because man, welfare, still, welfare. No, it's still they he put they put it back on those. And, and guess what? They made Snyder reimburse them people and pay them back welfare, food stamps, and cash. It was motherfuckers when they got their shit, nigga. <laughs> you, you it was at the hair salon and everything, nigga. And, and, and not the Georgia store. Getting got two, got three months back pay and, and food stamps and cash benefits. Not uh, a, a regular dude with no kids mm -hmm. used to can't get you they cut him from that. He they can't get general, no check. They general assistance back in the day. I knew niggas personally yeah, that was waiting to check. turn 18 to get on general assistance. Yeah, yeah, get, get a check, check and food stamps. That was called and general assistance. Stamps, yeah. GA back in the day. Look it up. And they cut that out. <laughs> Look it up. And they yeah. cut them niggas yeah, off. Rick, um, Governor, um, Governor John But why they stop with the food stamp books? Because that's what I didn't understand. Why they stop giving See, books it's out? called tracking you. Oh, with, with the, the bridge uh, card. With the bridge with the bridge card. card right. Man, I'll be seeing women that, who's never had a debit card a day in their life. <laughs> they be in that motherfucker swipe, swipe like they spending cash. <laughs> I mean, I'm not mad at them. Do what you got to do, mama. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. I am not mad at you, but they tracking you. Like, listen. They like, want you. Like, they well, want. They track them so good. They want you to start buying different type of food. Right. Like, yeah. Listen. This no is, more. No more sugary foods. Yeah. That's about, yeah. Like but that. you know, that was, they the Fed said, I, you can't do that. Can't tell nobody what they can and can't but buy. But that's what I'm saying. But what they wanted to eat. Oh yeah, I remember they used that. Yeah. Yeah, they try to say that. Yeah. They used to give us a government cheese. They mm -hmm. wanted us to eat that. Yeah. But now they don't. <laughs> they but wanted, what? That cheese jungle. was the truth, dog. Yeah, but it's man, different now, though. No. So it's I'm not the soft. same anymore. It's, not, it's no, that fucking shit soft. So nasty. It's soft. Yeah, it's just nasty. It's, they fucked it up. It's short. Yeah. It's not even thick no more. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna tell you, man. What I used to love. It's all like us. Powdery. Yes. Yes. Listen, it's I used to. Awful. This lady yeah. I know. Government ain't Back in the day, you should no get well. <laughs> not, you should get that out. Uh, focus hope, right? Yeah. She used to sell me her canned beef, canned chicken, and that mashed potatoes. I go in there. That's my boy Bo. No lie. We cook up that can of beef, make some instant mashed potatoes, boy. Shred some of that cheese on it, that welfare cheese on top of that beef. And we'd drink a can of that big ass can of apple juice they used to give. I used to buy all that shit. See, that's right? why. That's and why. I was eating good, nigga. Eating good. And see, and your <laughs> ass went to school, swole up, you and your friend. <laughs> nah, nigga, we was at the nah. crack house, nigga, doing this. Nigga. And the crack, that's why I'm Cook saying, hey, nigga. <laughs> that's why bullying wasn't happening like it was now. Because them kids was to be strong. Yeah, them kids were strong. We're no eat. just bullying no damn body around. Boy or Man. girl, they was on that uh, welfare. Man, program. I remember so, back in the day, they used to give you, you wicked. They used to give you this motherfucking cereal called Kaboom Cereal. That shit was... I used to like Kaboom. that shit. Yeah, Kaboom, the little clown I used to faces. like, oh, it was the King the one. Uh, King, uh, uh, King Vitamin. King Vitamin. King Vitamin. Oh, it was on oh, point. Gotta King put too much Vitamin. sugar with them. Oh, oh yeah, it's more than slapping, though. <laughs> Hey, hey, man. That, oh, man. Ain't nothing like being poor, ain't it? Ain't nothing, man. You I gotta leave. I gotta leave, though. I'm Farina, leaving that shit. Farina, though. 
Oh man, for real, uh, was some shit in these shoes. Oh man, man, you know what? This what that ain't a ain't girl dog like for I fell today. in love one time. That's what she had. Girl, <laughs> that shit in the morning. See, I, I sneak over her house. Mm-hmm. Right, she's church girl too. Uh huh. Piano in the motherfucking house and everything. Grandmother stayed in the house. I sneak in the house. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I had to stay in there pissing the bottles and stuff right there. But her girl in the room and shit, you know, her grandmother and her parents or whatever, they got up and left. And in the morning, dog, she cooked for me, nigga. She cooked some eggs. Then I sat down. I thought those was grits. That was Farina. I was like, this bitch is lying. <laughs> 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 oh, man, I wanted to marry her motherfucking ass. Yeah, it so. didn't work out. Got a bad attitude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn. Crush, what you got coming up? Any shows or anything? Yeah, I'm a book some, and I'll let you know and everything so everybody can come out if y'all want to come out and see me. Shoot your, yeah. shoot, shoot, shoot all the information out yeah. to the fans again. Crush. All right, I'm on Instagram, uh, Crush underscore the Goddess of Rap, Facebook, Crush the Goddess, and B Seals, mm-hmm. <clears throat> Twitter, uh, Goddess Crush handle, mm-hmm. and um, oh, Google Plus, you could find me Crush the Goddess on there. Mm-hmm. I'm everywhere, Crush the Goddess. Just Google Crush the Goddess. Crush with a K now. Crush with a K. T H E Goddess, not D A. Not the. The. There you go, people. Go Black, where you at? What's up, man? Okay, uh, well, I got something new happening every Tuesday. Tell them about it. Damn, I ain't got the damn flyer with me. But follow my Facebook. That's all you got to do. Follow my Facebook. I got plenty room on there. I ain't got as many friends as you think. Uh, and plus, it's open to the public. Just go down there and check out, see where I'm going to be. Uh, I hang out on Instagram and stuff, but mainly that's where I'm at. But Dorian Black, you can find me on all the social medias like that. And um, Detroit, uh, just look up Call Girls if you're looking for somewhere to party. They got <laughs> the top 10 clubs in Detroit. Where they at, though? Where they at? Tell us. Okay. All right. Give me a second, man. <laughs> and let me uh, let it pull up. The first, I'm the first one is the V Night Club. The V Night this Club. This is where all the call girls supposedly be at. Is the dance club. <laughs> Seven, 1777 Third. The Sugar House. Now that sound like that might have that's like that's the sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and Northern Lights. Northern Lights. That's in the Council District. So see what I'm talking about. Gotta pay them. Gotta pay that other tuition. You know what? Uh huh. I'm gonna bring Timbo's back. I'm gonna get me an old man. building in Detroit, and I'm gonna call it Timbo's too. <laughs> what? Yeah. Man, you find you some hoes with some bullet wounds. You gonna be on the side wounds, when that bitch will be hey, banging. Shout out to the shout out to the um the strippers. I remember this this tall stripper back in the day. I used to date. Her name was Kiki, right? One of Key. Her name was One of Key. Some, but they called her Kiki, right? She's about six foot two, and I was like, <clears throat> at the time, I was about like maybe like 18, 19 years, not about 18. And um, I told Kiki, I turned her out to going into the strip club and dancing. And she went in there and danced in the strip club. And she was young, too, boy. I was about like, I was about seven, no, 17. You thought you was a pimp? I thought I was a pimp. You wasn't a no motherfucking you know, pimp. Pimp Tony Macaroni in this motherfucker. And guess <laughs> what? Guess what? Pimp. I lost this my only I lost my only home, man. Tony Your only home? The only home I lost. That, that had to be your the, bottom home. I, I got out the game real quick. I got out the game like, I'm done. I'm done. Fuck that shit. I'm going to keep slinging these Stick rocks. Stick <laughs> With Dorian, Dorian and these car girls, I don't know. Well, I'm trying to find my way. <laughs> <laughs> Any car girls that want to hook up with I can't date listen. young women no more. Any car girls y'all that want to hook up with Doe Black. Now y'all on the call. Email girl. Dorian Black at the313liveshow <laughs> at gmail.com and make an attention to Dorian Black. All the call girls. All the call girls. Hit him up, the 313 no young women at gmail.com. I can't have yes, any more, you women. girls. You little tasty things. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga is crazy, 
I can't have any more of you. No more? So no more you guys said that's my problem. Y'all said I need to sh- go to the older aisle and shop around for a while. So I'm going to go over there and see what's happening. I'm going to pick up the one and day vitamin aisle. That's it. That's it, brother. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in this week. And we will see you next week. Episode 41. 41. 41. See you guys later. That's right, Crush Crush. (laughs) Peace. We out of here.